Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a haul from Ulta and I got a gift card today for my birthday for $30. I ended up spending honestly like $80 or something which is kind of crazy because I honestly didn't get that much. But I'd never been to Ulta and I was really excited to go in there and I love it. Oh my gosh, seriously, it's like perfect. Um, the prices on everything tends to be the same except for nail polishes. Like the OPI nail polishes like next door at Target, like Ulta's literally next door to Target. At Target they're like $8 and at Ulta they were like 12 so that's kind of insane. But that's like the only thing that there was like a difference. Um, I wanted to apologize that I haven't uploaded in so long. I just... <sighs> Girl. I just have been honestly so busy with school and I know that like every guru says that but honestly I've been trying to be really like good about my grades but there's it's still like really hard and it's really just geometry that's like getting me like really I'm just really struggling with geometry we have a huge chapter test tomorrow on like everything and I'm literally not prepared for it in any way we have a huge huge history test tomorrow that I'm not prepared for at all but it's just really geometry that I'm worried about because math is like important and it's, I'm, I need a tutor in that class so bad. I'm just so bad at it. Like, our last test, I literally got an F on, so. Yeah, um, I've been having some difficulties with that class, but. Okay, seriously, please, just, no. Okay. Brooke, you need to take me to the mall. Brooke's, like, telling me about all these sales going on at the mall. Like, my favorite stores ever, and I'm not there. But anyway, um, I'm not trying to brag, and please no hate, and I, I really am sorry that I haven't been uploading, like, I honestly film an outfit of the week every single week, and I have at least four of them that I haven't uploaded, but it's just, like, whenever I don't upload them, you guys, like, request them, but then as soon as I do, you guys are like, oh my gosh, like, stop uploading these, and I'm just like, it's just really annoying, because, like, I literally can't please you guys, so, I don't know, I just have been really busy and just struggling with school and everything, so... YouTube hasn't really been, like, my number one priority. Obviously, school comes first. But, anywho, with that big rant, let's just get started. So, first, I got four of the Ulta nail polishes because they were $6, but it was buy two, get two free. So, they ended up only being, like, $3 each. So, my mom got two, and I got two. She kind of got two pink colors. So, she got Freshwater Pearl, which is, like, a really pretty light pearl. It kind of matches my shirt. But, yeah, and then she got Quit Metaling. Like, it's, like, metaling. Yeah, I thought it was cute. And it's just like that. And then I got High Roller, which is, like, a gold glittery metallic color. I think it's really pretty. And Blue's Cruise, which is, like, a really pretty blue color. I'm wearing it on my nails now. All my nails are painted, and then this one is literally just, like, gone. So I apologize for how disgusting it looks. But I really like this nail polish, and I'm honestly probably going to keep painting my nails with it because it's perfect, and it's... Similar to my school colors, so I really like wearing it, but it honestly chips in like an hour if you honestly think I'm getting this nail polish like chipped in like an hour, so that's kind of annoying, but yeah. And then I went kind of crazy with NYX because I've never been able to purchase NYX products before because I'd always just have to buy them online, and I hate ordering makeup online because I can't see it in person, like I don't know if it's pigmented or if it's even like anything good, so I hate ordering makeup online, like I literally hate it. So... This is my first time with NYX, so I really like it. I'm super impressed with the brand. I've had these products for at least a week, probably closer to two, and I've been using them like crazy, and I love them. So, yeah, I purchased two concealers from them. So, first is the Incredible Waterproof Concealer, and it's just like this. It's just a little roll-up concealer. I really, really like this. I think it is really good coverage, and it just rolls on. Um, it's a little dry, but it's... Still something I would purchase, so obviously it's not, like, really dry or anything. And I love that it's, like, bright blue. I think it's really cute. And then I got the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. And this one is just, like, a doe foot applicator. And I really, really, really like this one, too. I think it's super good coverage, and it doesn't, like, crease or anything. It's not dry. I really like it. It's super, super blendable. I just, I really, really was impressed with those concealers. Then I purchased the NYX um, High Definition Eye Primer Base thing. And I love this. So I like the consistency of the Urban Decay one better just because it's a little bit creamier. But 
even my Urban Decay Primer Potion doesn't keep just my Maybelline Color Tattoo on. Like, usually I don't put eyeshadow over it because I'm really lazy in the morning. So I just throw that on. And even my Urban Decay Primer Potion does not keep that on all day. It still creases. Even if it's just a little bit, it does still crease. This little, It literally doesn't crease one bit with this. So I'm going to be repurchasing this forever and ever and ever and ever. So this is my new favorite eye primer. And it's literally like $6.99, which is such a good price. Like, I mean, compared to the e.l.f. one, it's kind of expensive, but it's, it's seriously so good, and it's literally better than the Urban Decay one, so it's kind of my new obsession. And then I purchased two of the um, Jumbo Eye Pencils. I really, really want to get milk. I don't know why I didn't, but first I got Cashmere, which is like, it's not focusing. First I got Cashmere, which is kind of like a golden color. I already have swatches of all of these, so that's Cashmere. And then I got the, um, not as famous as Milk, but still really famous, Yogurt. And this one, I dropped it. I was, like, messing with it when I first got it, and I dropped it on the floor. So, it's super messed up, but it's a really pretty pinky color. I don't know. I'm, I think it's really pretty. It's right, right there. I think it's super, super pretty. And then I got two of the NYX um, pigment kind of things. So, first I got mink which I don't really like this one that much I don't know it's just really like orange toned and I tried it all over my lid and it just looked horrible so not really a fan of that one and then I got nude which is so pretty and I really like this one um I could see myself repurchasing it's just a really pretty lid color and then I got three of their single eye shadows which I love these so much seriously they're probably the best eyeshadows I've ever tried in my life like I'm not even kidding um, they're literally, like, up with the Urban Decay ones, which are $18, and these are, like, 5 So, I recommend these so much. So, this one is Silk, which is kind of a warm-toned, it's almost copper, but it's, like, not, I don't know. It's really pretty. Then I got Sahara, or Sahara, depending on how you say it, and it just looks like that. And then, lastly, I got Vanilla Sky, which is my favorite. It looks like that. It looks, like, literally white, but I promise it's not. It's, like, my favorite of all of them. And I have them all swatched, so there's Silk, Sahara, and Vanilla Sky. They kind of wore off, but you get the idea. And then I got two lip products. So I got the Jumbo Lip Pencil and Honey Nectar, which is just a really pretty neutral pink. And then I got the Lip Gloss in Sugar Pie. And this is a really pretty peachy nude with some really pretty shimmer. So I love this, and I love how it has a little bow on the top. Is that not adorable? So that's everything I bought from NYX, and then I purchased two Maybelline products. So first I got the Color Tattoo in Inked in Pink, which I looked at like forever ago when these first came out, and I really liked it, but I didn't buy it. So I decided to just buy it, and I think it's really pretty for if I want a little bit more color to just throw on. And then I got the Maybelline Baby Lips. Um, this one is in Soothing Sorbet, and it's a little bit one of the deeper colors. Um, because I didn't want to get just like a bright one. I wanted one that was a little bit deeper for the fall time. So, I'm really, really excited to try this out. And then I got the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream in 20 Light Medium. This is too dark. It's literally the second color and it's so dark. So, I want to see if I can return it to Ulta and get a shade lighter. But I don't know if they'll let me do that. I don't know. It's, it's literally too dark and it's winter. Like, I'm just going to get paler. So... I really just need the shade lighter than this because it's just too dark, but I do really like this product. It's um, a little bit thicker than the Maybelline one, so it gives more coverage, and I really like it, but it does smell like straight up sunscreen, so if you don't like sunscreen, like the smell of it, then you won't like this because it literally just smells like sunscreen. And then I bought the Maybelline Falsies Big Eyes little like duo thing. It has the upper lashes and bottom lashes. I got it in waterproof because you guys know how I love waterproof mascaras. And Lauren has this and I use it all the time and I love it. So I finally got one of my own. And then I got the Urban Decay Naked Skin little BB cream with SPF 20. And um, I haven't tried this out yet, but I just like put it on my chin and I really like it, but I haven't like full out used it. The only thing though is that it, there's not colors. It's literally just the BB cream. Like there's not like light, medium, dark. It's just the BB cream. So that was everything that I purchased from Ulta. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this video was literally so long, but I had to apologize and talk to you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I will link it 
in the down bar and also leave me some requests down below because I really need some new video requests. So, yeah, I love you guys so much. Bye. So, I love you guys so much and thank you so much for sticking with me and not freaking out too bad. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a good day. Bye.